Hey guys, Josh and David here with an update for the go kart. We uh, got, finally got some mud flaps on it and built some uh, diamond plate vendors for the back. So let's take a look. So here's the go kart right here. And uh, first off, we put mud flaps up front. So uh, hopefully we won't get sprayed. It's uh, about half inch thick belted rubber which we also put across the back of the seat. So it looks pretty nice. Uh, and we had that on first and then realized that we still got sprayed a little so we actually made these diamond plate fenders here. Just got done cutting them out and finishing them off. So they're nice and wide and they look really cool diamond plate. So got them all secured down. And we also added rubber up here, some thinner rubber. So the, when the water wants to splash in, it'll get blocked by that. Should keep most of the water out from getting on us from the front. Well, we're going to go on a little test ride and uh, see how functional it is. It's out on some trails out here and uh, been ripping around on it for a while, but I figured I ought to get the video camera out. It's that Predator 420. For all you guys that ain't seen the other videos. mud on it already. See how she does. Not sure of a good way to steady it, so it'll be a little shaky, but or something but this little Kodak place for it I'll have to do for now. These trails out here mostly are driven on by jeeps and stuff going mud but uh, the ruts are a lot bigger than the go-kart but we'll see well I'm going a little slow I don't want to go break nothing but
crazy deep, and this is all dry, but still, something different than driving on the pavement. After all, this is an off-road go-kart. started recording but I've been out here for at least an hour ripping around these trails uh, being careful but still seeing what it can do so uh, shout out to go power sports for all these parts on this go-kart they pretty much take anything it seems like so, uh, that predator 420 definitely has a lot of power a 40 series torque converter Alright guys, I found this really good hill. I'll show you guys what this torque converter can do. Too, but that go-kart handled it with not a problem. Well, guys, go-kart's a little dirty, but it never got stuck. Seemed to handle everything just fine. Definitely passes as an off-road go-kart. Pretty much took everything I threw at it. Alright guys, till next time.